Our story involves three rival Wardens of Light seeking ultimate power for their peoples, and one Dark Lord risen from the depths of the world to corrupt all creation. The Spire of Avaroth has appeared and offers ultimate power to those who control it. The game consists of one map that is divided into four identical quadrants for each faction. Each faction begins in a spacious area that turns into a dense forest filled with resources as they get closer to the center. Players will fight to control these resources, activate pylons, and build units. The terrain turns into a valley for each player to funnel their units down until they reach the spire, which is a spacious area for the players to battle each other in. To win the game, a player must either control two pylons and have their Warden of Light capture the spire, or defeat all the other players. A player loses if another player gets to the spire first, or all of their units and buildings are destroyed. This game will encourage players to think critically and quickly. Players will be forced to make split-second decisions based on opposing forces, size, and strength. This will accommodate four players and can be played on the PC. Ages 13 plus. Mechanic number one, find. Units can find new areas, resources, pylons, shards of light, enemy units, and enemy bases as they explore. Scout units uncover a larger radius of the map when moving. Players will send out units to find resources like food, gold, wood, iron, and stone to use in building their base or keep. Units can find shards of light that buff the player's wardens of light. Units can also discover pylons that enable the player's wardens of light to access the spire. There are three pylons to find, one located on each side of the map, and one that moves position in the center. A player must discover and control two of these pylons to enter the spire. Mechanic number two, attack. Units in the game are all capable of taking offensive actions against opposing forces, structures, and the guardian NPC that carries the third pylon. Players must kill the guardian to gain access to the third pylon. As faction leaders, the wardens have access to special abilities that may be periodically called upon to assault enemies in destructive ways or aid friendly units. Mechanic number three, toggle. In order for objects in the game to be used, they must be interacted with by the player through his or her units. Objects with interaction include pylons, defensive structures, special abilities, and the spire. For example, players enter the spire by standing within a designated area beneath the spire, but in order for a player to enter the spire, they are required to, to activate two pylons, which light each pylon with the appropriate faction color. This opens up the spire for that faction. When the warden enters the spire and interacts with the Heart of Light, they begin a countdown timer. When the timer hits zero, they win. Mechanic number four, disperse. This is the management of all of the player's resources, food, gold, wood, stone, and iron. The player must allot certain amounts of the resources in order to produce units or build additional structures. For example, if the player would like to build a barracks to produce units, they would need to disperse 50 stone in order to start the production. A second example, when producing a unit, it requires food and gold to be dispersed to the barracks in order to start the process of training a unit for the battlefield. Mechanic number five, command. This is how players control the action of the game. Anytime a player wants to build a barracks, move a unit, or do something, they will be commanding a unit to carry out the action. Players can command their units to assault enemies, structures, and heroes with regular attacks or special abilities. This is used with each mechanic listed as you have to tell the unit to do the mechanic in order for it to work. For example, with Disperse, the player would command the construction to happen in order to build the barracks and disperse the necessary amount of stone. In order for any item to be toggled, the player has to command a unit to do so. Command is the base of player interaction. Games that are similar in style and design include Lord of the Rings, Battle for Middle-earth 2, Civilization 5, and Command and Conquer Tiberium Wars. Our use of faction heroes and randomly spawning mobile objectives to complete the game make our game unique.